What's good, gang land? It's your boy Savage Life Gaming. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to add scripts to your game. I'm not going to add an actual script in game, but I'm going to show you how to get your GTA set up to where you can add scripts. You know what I'm saying? You can mod and whatnot. A lot of y'all been hitting up my email, been hitting me on Instagram, asking me how this works, how that works. So we're going to start doing little tutorial videos. And right now, I'm going to show y'all from when y'all first get y'all GTA installed. So the first thing you want to do, guys, go on Steam, go on Walmart, go wherever you search on internet and try to find GTA 5. You want to get the game first. And this is on PC, guys. This is not on PlayStation 5. This is not on Xbox Xbox One. This ain't on Xbox 360, none of that. This is on PC. So first thing you want to do is get your GTA, GTA 5 downloaded and whatnot. Then you want to go into your directory where you downloaded. Mine's in Windows C, Programs, Rockstar Games, GTA V. So this is going to be the directory. Uh, all this ain't going to be in yours. You know what I'm saying? This is all my scripts and mods and stuff I done added in here. So yours is not going to look like this. So the first thing you want to do, guys, you want to make a scripts folder. So right click on the desktop, hit New, Folder. And you want to type in scripts, all lowercase, with an S, scripts. And once you get done with that, guys, you want to take this script folder and you want to drag it into your directory. I'm going to show you what the direct directory is where all this said, GTA 5, GTA Launcher. As y'all can see, I already got my scripts folder in here, so I'm not going to be dragging and dropping that in there. And the next thing you want to do, guys, you want to get Open IV. So you want to go to the uh, website, Google, type in OpenIV, and it should pop up. Just hit that first one right there, OpenIV, the ultimate modern tool, and this is what it should look like. And you want to hit download now, 4.1. So you're going to download that, guys. Once you get that downloaded, you want to open up OpenIV. You want to go to Grand Theft Auto 5. You got other games you can mod in here, too. Red Dead Redemption, Max Payne. Grand Theft Auto 4 episodes for, from Liberty, but you want to go to Grand Theft Auto 5, hit Windows, because this on PC, guys. I don't know why they got Xbox 360 and all that on there, too. But once you get in here, you want to go up to the top and hit Edit Mode, hit Yes, and go right here to ASI Manager. And you want to make sure all these is installed. When you first open this, it's going to be uninstalled. You want to install all them ASI Loader. You want to install OpenIV.AS1. You want to uh, install Open Camera. This is for Rockstar Editor. You know, you can exceed the boundaries and limitations on that Rockstar Editor. So make sure all that's good. Open RV, OpenIV is for like, if you want to add cars and clothes and, you know what I'm saying, add on pets and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing, we're going to be covering this in another video. So the next thing you guys want to do. You want to go on the internet, you want to type in script hook V. And this is what the website should look like. And you want to go to um, the newest release. You got uh, 5, fe 5 February 2023. You want to download that, hit that right there. This is the latest version right now, guys. Then you want to go to script hook V.net. And you want to go to the one at the very top. This is the latest one. The latest one going to always be at the top, guys. So this script hook v.net 3.6.0. You want to scroll down. You want to download this top one. Script hook v.net.zip. Then the next thing you're going to need, guys, you're going to need native UI. So you want to type in native UI 1.9. Well, you ain't got to type that in. Just type in GTA 5 native UI. And you, you're going to see this the latest one, 1.9.1 release. And you want to download this one right here, release zip. Then you want to go to Lua Plugin. Just type in GTA 5 Lua Plugin. It's going to take you on GTA5Mods.com. And you want to go and download this one, scroll down. And you want to click this right here. And it should take you to download. And you download that. So the first thing you want to do, guys, you want to take your script hook V folder. You want to open it, and you're going to see a folder that say Ben Read Me. And this, I guess this is the website or whatnot. But you want to click on Ben, 
and you want to take these two files, then put eight DLL. You want to take that one and script hook V DLL. This native trainer I don't use. You can use it if you want to. I use menu and simple trainer. You want to take these and you want to drag them in here in your directory with all this, the GTA file. You want to take this and drag it in there. I already got it in there, so I'm not going to put it in there again. But mine's already installed. Then you want to take the script hook V folder. And you want to take all these files right here. Do not get the license or the readme. You want to take all these. And y'all can see I got them right here. They all right there. You want to drag and drop them in there. Yours will not have this when you uh, first download the game. You got to put it in there. So you take all the files, drag and drop them in there. I ain't going to do it because I already got them in there. Then native UI. You want to go into your scripts folder with this one. Go up to your scripts. Click on scripts. The folder you made that says scripts. And you want to take this native UI. And you want to take this and drag and drop it in there. A lot of these mods come with other native UIs. So when you download them, they already have them. Like these look different right here. That's why because... Other mods you installed that had it in there. But you want to take this and drag and drop into the scripts folder. And now, last but not least, Lua plugin. As you can see, it come with a script folder, but you don't want to use that one. You just want to click on that scripts folder. Go into your go to your scripts folder. Click on it. And then you want to take this stuff right here from the Lua. And drag and drop. You can, as you can see, I already got it in my scripts folder. The add-ins. You just take that drag and drop. And the Lua.asi. This is going to go into your directory. Drag and drop that into your directory. See, I already got it, so I ain't going to replace it. And you should be good to go. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can go on the GTA 5 website. Uh, look up a script. We're going to do that real quick. Let's see, like, um, LS gas delivery. You just go down and, you know what I'm saying, check out the requirements. The only thing you need for this mod to run is script hook V. That's what we just put in the game. And we just put in script hook V.net into your scripts folder. So if you wanted to download this mod, you'll take this mod, hit download. Going to download it real fast. Shouldn't take long, gang. Yeah, um, this is for you guys. You know what I'm saying? I had to go on and do a tutorial for you guys. And you're going to go and open that folder. And you got to read me in there. You can read that. It'll probably tell you how the, the mod works and stuff like that. And you want to go into your scripts folder, guys, where you uh, made the scripts folder. And this is where you're going to add all your scripts. So you're just going to take these two files, LS Gas Delivery and the other I N I and the LS Gas Delivery D L L. You take this, drag and drop it in here. I already got it in there, so I'm I'm just gonna replace it. You ain't gotta do that, cause your uh your GTA won't have none of this in there until you put it all in there. So yeah, so I'm gonna go end this. You know what I'm saying? This might work for you. This might not. It's a lot of tutorials online. I want to show y'all in game, but my my internet tweaking right now. I can't get into my GTA Five. But um, some of this, I mean, it might work for some people and some people it might not. It might be something I forgot, you know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of tutorials online. I just want to give you guys the sauce because y'all been asking. I'm going to be showing y'all how to do cars, clothes, houses, um, you know, other scripts and stuff that got different requirements that you need to put in there for that mod to work. But you know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy, guys. You just got to have patience and don't get frustrated with it. So once you get in game, you should have a blimp on the map. And it say LS Gas Depot. I just wanted to go and show y'all this script is working, guys. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, you look at the requirements of the script and whatnot to make sure you get it working right. If you don't put all requirements in there, you might not get it working right. We're just going to try this out, guys. Okay, to start your shift. Hi. Enter the provided truck or use your own. Okay, we can use our own. That's what's up. So we're gonna go and jump into this this truck right here.
okay? Press to mark this as your work truck. Please attach your trailer. Okay, I'm kind of liking this. So I, yeah, guys, I went on and jumped in the game just to show y'all how this work and whatnot. Is this the trailer? No, I'm think I don't think that's the trailer. I think it's this one over here. Okay, thank you for driving us today. Please provide to your target destination. So yeah, if this helped you guys, you know what I'm saying, like, share, comment. A lot of these mods might work and a lot of them might not work for you. It might work for me. But you know what I'm saying, thank you guys for coming through. We up out of here, gang, gang.